former Prime Minister Go Chok Tong won't be running in the coming general election. In a letter to Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, the 79-year-old has announced he's stepping down from politics. Mr Go has spent 44 years, more than half his life, as a member of parliament. Cheryl Lin with the story. It was at the heavy heart that Emeritus Senior Minister Go Chok Tong decided not to stand in the coming election. Mr Go, who has helmed Marine Parade since 1976, said the ward is his second home. The 79-year-old said that while many have urged him to stand for another term, he would not have the same energy as he crosses into his 80s. He recommended Dr Tan Si Ling, a fresh potential candidate for the PAP, to fill his shoes. Mr Goh added that smooth and systematic leadership succession is the key to Singapore's political stability and that he prefers to step down while he's in good health. He noted that the 4G leadership has been tested and strengthened by COVID-19, but the search for more talent must continue and the party must start building up the core of the 5G team. Accepting the resignation with sadness, Prime Minister Lee noted Mr Goh's calm and steady leadership amid crises over the years. Mr Lee said Mr Goh continued to contribute even after he had stepped down as Prime Minister. These include by weighing in on key debates on local issues, guiding younger MPs and promoting Singapore on the international front. Mr Lee said he'd always be personally indebted to Mr Goh for bringing him into politics and being his guide and mentor. He said their close and fruitful relationship as two prime ministers is one that would be the envy of many countries. In Marine Parade, Mr Lee said Mr Goh left a personal imprint, turning the ward from a blank canvas more than four decades ago into something special. Tributes from other politicians have poured in. Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet expressed appreciation for Mr Goh's wise counsel during the global financial crisis in 2009 when they worked together at the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Mr Heng said Mr Goh taught the team that they must face difficult decisions head on. Marine Parade grassroots advisor Tan Chuan Jin described Mr Goh as down-to-earth with a mischievous sense of humour. Mr Tan called Mr Goh a great mentor who had given the Marine Parade team space to work while developing their own strengths. Mr Goh was Singapore's second Prime Minister. He was also the oldest and longest serving candidate in the 2015 election. He had aspired to go into academia and when that didn't pan out, joined the administrative service. A year later, he was about to leave for the private sector when he was asked to stay on in the civil service by then-Deputy Prime Minister Go King Sui. He entered politics in 1976 and was successfully elected as MP for Marine Parade. As an MP of Marine Parade, Mr Go launched initiatives like residence committees in a bid to promote community spirit and support communications between the government and residents. From the single seat he first won in 1976 to the GRC it is today, Mr Goh battled and won more than 10 elections in Marine Parade, serving for 44 years. Dear friends and residents of Marine Parade GRC, thank you, thank you very much for your overwhelming support. He was made Minister of State for Finance in 1977 and went on to take on portfolios in the Ministries of Trade and Industry, Health and Defence. He oversaw the introduction of several policies that have become household names. They include Medisafe, Edusafe and Pronatalist Campaign have three or more if you can afford it. Mr Goh succeeded Lee Kuan Yew in 1990 as Singapore's second Prime Minister. Mr Goh soon became known for a consultative style of leadership that differed from Mr Lee's no-nonsense approach. During his tenure as Prime Minister, he steered Singapore through trying times like the Asian financial crisis in 1997 and the SARS outbreak five years later. The whole job now is to ensure that the economy doesn't take a tailspin as a result of uh, behaviour, you know, the fear factor, both within Singapore and outside Singapore. Another focal point for Mr Goh was addressing income inequality. He launched measures like the sale of subsidised HDB flats and regular CPF chop-ups to help citizens with their retirement savings. He handed over premiership to Lee Hsien Long in 2004, but continued to strengthen international ties as senior minister. 
Mr. Goh also became chairman of the Monetary Authority of Singapore. He retired from cabinet in 2011 and was given the honorary title of Emeritus Senior Minister.